Okay, we're going to be talking about um, uh, buffers part two, and this is um, how to make a buffer with a specific pH. And so um, this is just another twist on the, on the ice table, and um, we're going to be using the specific pH um, to work backwards oftentimes to calculate how to make this buffer solution. So let's look at example one here. And example one is, um, is uh, asking us how many moles of ammonium chloride must be added to two liters of a 0.1 molar, and that is molar um, NH3 to make a buffer with a pH equals nine, and they give us the KB for NH3 as 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. So this is gonna be um, a weak base conjugate acid type buffer. And so the first thing um, we want to do is we're going to write the weak base dissociation um, expression. So we're going to take our NH3, react it with water to form NH4 plus plus the hydroxide ion. Um, the water is going to act as an acid donating um, the hydrogen to the ammonia. And because we have that hydroxide as a product, we need to know we, we're going to be using KB. And they gave us KB. They didn't just give us a Ka value that we would have to convert. So what we're going to do is, um, obviously, we can ice table this guy and just kind of, kind of see where we're at and what we have given to us. So we are given um, a 0.1 molar. Um, we don't worry about the water. And we are given a pH of 9. So our pH is equal to 9. That would tell us that our pOH is equal to 5. And we can use the pOH to calculate the hydroxide ion concentration um, by taking the antilog 10 to the negative 5. And that should give us 1.0 times 10 to the negative 5th, which we can fill in on our ice table. So this would be 1.0 Other things that we can fill in on an ice table, um, we know that this reaction is going to go to the right, so we have minus x, and so we have 0 0.10 minus x. We're going to assume x is small. So really, what we're trying to find out is we're trying to find out how many moles of the ammonium that we need initially. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, use the Ka expression, or I'm sorry, the Kb expression, which would be NH4 plus. OH over NH3. And we're going to plug in all the values we have and we're going to solve it for our unknown value. And so um, we, we know that we have a KB value and our KB value was given as 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth originally in the problem. We don't know what our NH4 plus is. And we do know that um, our, our hydroxide ion concentration is 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth over um, our concentration, which is going to be 0 0.10. That was initial in that concentration, um, but we know it was uh, minus x, which is assumed small. I did originally say that we were looking for the initial concentration, but we are going to find the equilibrium concentration of, of NH4+. plus. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to solve this equation for NH4 plus concentration and when I solve this, so I'm going to multiply 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth by uh, 0.1 divided by 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth, and um, I should come up with an NH4 concentration equal to um, 0 0.18 molar. That is a zero. Now, um, the problem originally asked, I'm going to scroll back up here, the problem originally asked for, um, we're looking for how many moles of ammonium chloride. That's what we're originally after. So what, what I just solved for here was molarity. So we're going to use the molarity formula. Molarity equals moles per liter, and we're going to punch in what we have. Um, what was given to us was um, a, a two liter solution, and we just calculated 0.18 molar. And so when we solve that for moles, we get 0.36 moles. of um, NH4 plus. And we could easily convert that to grams if we needed to. And so that was an example of um, a, a weak acid uh, conjugate 
or excuse me, a weak base conjugate acid. Let's let's do one in the other direction. Let's do one um, with respect to a um, a weak acid with the conjugate base OBR. Okay, and again, we're looking for a specific pH here. So again. Um, what we want to do is we want to write our weak acid dissociation. So HOBR into H plus plus OBR1 minus. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically ice table it again. And um, it's telling us that we're starting off with a 0 0.050. Um, and it also tells us that um, we're looking for uh, how many moles of sodium um, OBR are, that we're going to need. So what we're what we're really after is we're after that that OBR concentration. So um, we have again a pH is equal to 9.15, and so to get the hydrogen ion concentration, we're just going to take the anti-log, and that gives us um, a concentration of the hydrogen ion as 7.08 times 10 to the negative 10th. Um, and 7.08 times 10 to the negative 10th is going to be there, 0 0.050. And we're looking for x right there. And so we're going to use that in our Ka expression. So our Ka, Ka value was given in the problem is 2.5 times 10 to the negative 9th is equal to um, 7.08 times 10 to the negative 10th multiplied by x over 0 0.050. Assuming x is small on that one, the minus x. And then we're just going to solve for x. And so x is going to be equal to, um, in this case, 0 0.0. up here real quickly and it does tell us that we were in a one liter um, one liter uh, uh, solution so um, molarity equals moles per liter one liter 0.177 molar that's going to equal 0.177 moles okay so that's that's how to do um, to figure out um, our our specific pH on either a weak acid conjugate base buffer or a weak base conjugate acid buffer. Um, our next video will deal with the ratio um, in between these two and how to identify the specific pH for that.